Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. It's Mad Zach again. It's, uh, what time is it? Oh, well, it's six and change. <laughs> it's the sexy at six show. Yeah. Oh, and I gotta tell you, I got a wonderful Christmas gift from my sweetie pie. Mesquite Ridge brand three piece fry pan set. Yeah, natural, non stick, pre seasoned, durable. Six and a half, eight and a half, ten inch. Yeah, oh, the big 10 inch. Yeah, if you're lucky. Oh, uh, let's see. So, I wanted to make brownies for my girl for Valentine's Day. So, I went ahead and I did that. Let me show you. See, I did that. I dusted them with powdered sugar on top. And I thought, wait a minute. I got an idea. Let's get rid of some of this stock. I got a full cupboard of stock back here. Cakes and brownies, all kinds of crap. So I decided I wanted to make a classic white cake. I thought, ooh, cake, yeah, I feel like eating some cake. Well, and then I thought, ooh, but I really love that German chocolate cake. It tastes like that old Harvester's cake, spice cake or whatever. It's really yummy without the, without the German chocolate, without the, ger the frosting. I like just the cake. So then I thought, wait a minute, I ran out of pans. I filled in my brownie pan, I saved the brownie pan because I knew I was gonna make brownies um, for myself days ago, but I've been packing. So what I thought was, I thought, well shit, I packed up all the pans and everything out of the cupboard because we're moving, and I thought, wait a minute, I got this skillet set. I'll use the skillet set for baking pans. And I thought, and I'll stack them. So it'll look like a round Hawaiian temple, or a Hawaiian temple, Aztec temple. So check it out. Let me turn the camera around. So I got three sizes here. This one, that one, this one. So it'll be, so it'll be uh, chocolate, or uh, it's, it's underneath, it's, if you could see, I topped it off with what was left of the white cake. So it'll probably be concealed. It doesn't matter because it's going to get frosted. But I'm going to make a three-tiered cake for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I never made a three-tiered cake before. So we're Scarlet Polk in here to jab me about it. Anyway, I want to show you some other things I've been doing. If anybody is out there knows what a magnolia tree is, this is a magnolia bulb. And... Um, Somewhere here is a seed from it. It's probably down inside there. I keep it up there, but I'm going to plant a magnolia tree. And then right here is something fun to do. Um, the garlic was getting old and it started sprouting, so I threw it all in this baggie. So now I've got all this garlic growing, and I've been planting a. I've planted six the other day, but I'm going to plant some more. And then we got some of this hot cinnamon popcorn at Meyer. Um, supposed to have a hint of hot cinnamon spice to it, so I thought that'd be fun for Valentine's Day, along with oh, foaming bath salts, renewing care, peony and rose scent. Oh, it smells like peony. <laughs> oh, goody. Julie's gonna smell like peony. Anyway, and then my eggshell collection to go in my compost, and then I got a coffee over there to go in the compost. Yeah, see? And here's another way to be a chiseler. Here's a pan. It doesn't come with a lid. It's a fry pan, saute pan type of thing. It's a really nice fry pan. It's like 13 and a half inches, 14 inches. Well, the lid is expensive. And besides that, the cupboards are always full. Wherever you live, there's never enough cupboard space. Well, I got this pizza pan. It's, um, it's just this pizza pan, and I use it for a lid. I use it for a lid. It saves me. I don't need a fancy lid to go on top of the thing. Okay, my oven is ready. It just beeped, so it's time to put the cakes in. I'll turn the camera around so you can watch me drop it. Yeah. So I'll put this one in. In the middle. Put all of this in the middle. Rack is hot, and then the brownies on the top. Oh, 
there we go. Away we go. So now I gotta look and see what I gotta set the tangy for. Um, oh, bake. Add three to five minutes to bake. Time for dark or coated pans. about a half hour check on a half hour so set the timer for a half hour 31 minutes that's good to start so yeah there you have it I took a, a it's three piece fry pans don't need no cake pan haha <laughs> just use your fry pan for a cake yeah it's fine save you a lot of money you know what there wasn't nothing better than having the cast iron pans and then the one big kettle and then a small pan you didn't need a lot of pans and pots and stuff all well, everybody's been programmed through tv every invention is just designed around being lazy so you, you know they've invented all these things to take time away from you to chase the the dragon yeah for more money yeah so you can pay for that place that you never get to sit at and watch tv at because you got to work two jobs to pay for it yeah, and the car and the insurance and then the renter's insurance, of course. you got to have renter's insurance. I recommend that to everybody out there, renter's insurance. I'm not kidding. Um, yeah, because everybody's a blithering idiot. Yeah, the guy you're renting property from, he's a chiseler. Yeah, all he cares about is maximizing money. You know, rent always goes up every six months. Yeah, and you got to understand, he's got a lackey for a helper. Yeah, the guy that works on the houses. Yeah, so you're, you know, it's always a lackey who don't know shit. You need to go outside as a home. You need to be educated as a homeowner how to protect your property. You ever notice when you buy a pair of leather gloves, the guy selling them doesn't say anything about buying oil for them or grease of any kind? No preservative, no water proofing. They do when you buy a pair of shoes. Oh, because they love to push their products. But the consumable things, the things they've made consumable, like gloves, leather gloves, you know, they just assume, you know, they, they know that they'll fall apart because they're getting them from some place that's stitching them up so fast they don't have time to, you know, tie the ends down and the gloves fall apart within a few weeks. So you always lose one. They count on all that. See, there's a thing called the 80-20 when it comes to... Uh, to the, at the side of the fence that I'm on, the accounting side, the chiselers at the chiseler's desk, 80-20. When you put a warranty on a product, for instance, only two out of 10 people will actually register the product. Yeah, they'll actually register it with their serial number and then the name and they'll get in the system. But you gotta remember the 80-20 again for when they get the email because nobody checks their email. They ain't got time for it because they figured out that it's just a bombardment of advertisements and scams and spam and all this long distant love relationships when they put all this money in a safe box and you have to go pick it up for them and put it in your bank account. Oh my goodness. You got to understand, I have been in on the game since the game became new. Okay. I was working with TRS 80s from Radio Shack when I was. Uh, a very small boy in school at Coopersville High School. Yeah, they taught us how to do programming, how to make your name roll across the screen continuously, and all kinds of little things like that. You know, X equals purple if Y, you know, or something like that. Go to, then, and RAM, all kinds of crap. Yeah, I don't know shit about it now, but that's why I'm a hacker. I, mean, I just hack at it. Pack, punt and pack. Yeah. But anyway, I've got lots of good things I'm sharing with people. Lots and lots of good things. I'm trying to fight the battle. The battle's about the money. It's always been about the money. And as long as they continue selling arguments to the hypnotized, we'll never be able to unite in any way and address. We have to unite in little communities and show our force and raise the awareness to other communities, other people in the community, you know. People are looking for the they're looking for their support. There's a lot of guys tied up in their house and going out on the street because it's full of freaking drug addicts. Always going to meet drug addicts. So all the peers are hiding. Yeah, because the streets are overrun with rats. Well, I'm the Pied Piper. I'm going to drive all the rats away from the city to save the children. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my job. Yay me. 
Anyway, I'm doing it all by myself. I really appreciate it. Well, not true. I have the crew members. Anyway, I got to run. Peace, love, you know, who dares, who cares. I got to go pack some more stuff and do some more guitar practice before I do another live. Ooh.